Hi everyone, in this module, we will create stitches to add realism to our footwear. Here, we will start out with a profile and turn it into a revolve feature. And from that revolve feature, we will create a path and use that body to create a pattern on path. But first, let's be organized and rename our bodies. So selecting body 319, Renaming this to Aglet 1. Selecting body 316. Let's rename this one to Aglet 2. Body 301 to be Islet 1. And body 303 to be Islet 2. Let's select this body, selecting eyelet 1, eyelet 2, aglet 2, lace, and aglet 1. Left click and hold. Squiggling here to move up. And let's wrap this down under heel tab. Release. Selecting aglet 1 and placing this up beside aglet 2. Let's select our main body, holding shift and left click lace, holding control and left click outline 3. Now I'm going to hit V to hide all of those bodies. Left click. I'm going to hit L to grab our line and select our YZ plane. Let's create our sketch here, so left click. Holding my left mouse button to create an arc. Holding my left mouse button and connecting it to this endpoint. Hitting D for dimension. So take note of my constraints. Selecting this center point and the center point. Dropping our dimension here. Keying in. 1. Hitting enter. Grabbing our dimension once more. Selecting this line. This line. Dropping our dimension here, keying in 0.3, hitting enter. Grabbing our line once more, hovering over this center point, moving up, left click, and left click at the end point, hitting escape. Selecting this line, hitting X to make this as a construction line. So now we have this profile. Selecting this line and our origin, right click and select midpoint. I'm going to hit stop sketch, hitting S and typing RE, grabbing our revolve tool for the profile, selecting this profile, activating our axis, selecting this line, operation new body, the angle to be 360 degrees, and hit OK. I'm going to grab this slider and move this one down. Rename body 386, which is this body, to stitch. Hitting Enter. Let's move this one up. But first, we're going to create a copy. So Control C and Control V. Hitting OK. Grabbing them both. Holding my left mouse button and moving this one up. Let's drop it under lace, release. I'm going to turn off the visibility of stitch. Select stitch one. Zooming out and hit M to grab our move tool. Grabbing our planar handle. Moving this one here. I'm going to go to front view. Grab this arrow, moving to the right. Going to right view. Grabbing our planar handle, moving this one here. Going back to front view. And rotating. Moving this one, going back to front view, 
Let's grab our rotating handle. Grabbing our planar handle. Going to right view. Let's rotate this one. Grab our planar handle. Move this one here. Inspecting. And finally, let's hit OK. Let's head up to Create and go to Pattern and select Pattern on Path. Now the Pattern Type, selecting Bodies. The object to be our Stitch 1. And for the path, left click to activate, selecting this edge. So let's accept the default up to here. For the distance, let's key in 1, 3, 6. And for the quantity, keying in 65, hitting tab, going to right view. Now our goal is to have a gap similar to the length of this body. Now under orientation, I want you to select path direction. So take note of my settings. Finally, hitting OK. Let's inspect. So from here, now in this scenario, we will be pulling our bodies down. I'm going to go to front view and under select, Selection filters, deselecting, select all, and activating bodies only. I'm going to zoom out. Go to our top view. And create a crossing window selection. Release, holding control, and selecting our outline to deselect. Zooming in. Let's deselect this bodies. I'm going to go to front view, hitting M to grab our move tool, and let's move this to the left, pull this one down, moving this one further. Let's move this one back. Hitting OK. Selecting this body, this body. Or just this. Let's deselect this one. Hitting M. Going to front view. I'm going to pull this one down. Nudge this to the left. Next, let's grab this buddies. So creating a window selection. Hitting M. Let's pull this one down. Hitting OK, creating a window selection. Hitting M, pulling this one up. Hitting OK, creating a window selection. I'm going to deselect this bodies. Hitting M, grabbing this arrow up. Hitting OK. Selecting this body, hitting M, pulling this one down, hitting OK. So same here, let's grab this bodies, hitting M, 
pulling this one pulling this down hitting okay so looking good so this is how we make a graphical representation of a stitch for our footwear design join me in the next lesson as we will finally complete all the required stitches